How many of you watching right now can tell me the difference between porcelain and ceramic tile? Or maybe what's the best accents to use on your kitchen backsplash with a darker colored countertop? If you're redesigning your dream kitchen or bath, these might be key questions that you'll want answers to. That's why I headed out to Artisan Kitchens and Baths to find out the answer to these common questions. When it comes to remodeling or redesigning your kitchen or bath, one of the key components to consider is what type of flooring, backsplash, and accent designs you'll want to use. At Artisan Kitchens and Baths, they can help take the guesswork out of these type of decisions and create the kitchen or bath of your dreams. To tile or not to tile, that's the question I have for Jennifer from Artisan Kitchens and Baths. I love tile, Jennifer, but this can be a tough decision. It is, yes. Um, you really want to coordinate it well with the other materials. Tell me about the different types of tiles that you have. Um, there's all types of tile available that look like natural stone um, that can have different looks to them. Uh, porcelain, ceramic, glass, there's a lot of options. Where do you like people when you're helping them design a kitchen or a bath? Where do you like to use tile? Um, floor, wall, backsplash. Um, you can really put tile anywhere in as for tile. I love when people use tile all the way up the wall of a bathroom and I think sometimes we forget that there's really no rules. No, there's not. You can coordinate different pieces and um, put them almost anywhere in the bathroom. So give me some of the basic rules to tiling that everybody needs to know. Um, keep your tiles big, match your grout, and um, use the same pieces to coordinate. When you talk about coordinating, and we've got some of them here, one of my favorite things is when someone takes the time and figures out how to do the accent pieces. So explain how we would do an accent. Um, you would usually put the tile right underneath the accent, and then you can cap it off with a bull nose, a pencil strip, um, and even more accent pieces to cap it. And a lot of the different tile lines come with different size tiles to fit different spaces. Yes, absolutely. When we're thinking about colors, how should we do the matching of a kitchen? So say somebody's building their kitchen. Where do we start? What's the first decision you make? You usually want to coordinate the tiles with the countertop and with the cabinetry so nothing's too light or too dark. Mm -hmm. um, but again, tiles come in multiple colors, so there's always something available. So do you think start with the countertop first? Usually you want to start with the countertop and then go from there with backsplash. Even in a vanity, you can do a Listello strip behind the, the countertop. It's amazing how far we've come in terms of the different accents that you can do in a bathroom. And I know in the, in the bathroom that you showed me before, how all of the different stones were carried throughout the entire bathroom. Yes, you can do Listello strips behind stairs, um, accents within tiles in the shower or tub, and even transition strips on the floor. There's a few different styles to tiles that we can choose from. There's porcelain and ceramic? Correct. Tell me a little bit about the differences. Um, porcelain is fired at a higher temperature than ceramic, so it's a little bit stronger. You will never wear out porcelain or ceramic in a residential setting, so either one, depending on the application, uh, will, will work. And I love how you can get so much depth from the color of a tile. Yes, the color, um, the veining to it, even the glass coating on top really makes it look a little more natural. Jennifer, tell me about how we should look at accenting tile. Like we pick the main base, what yes. tile we're going to use. But then how should we think about the accent we're going to choose? Um, the field tile is really important. It's, it does give you a base color and then the accent you can pull from your countertops, from your cabinetry, even the paint color you can match to it. So there's a lot of ways to determine accents. Is the best part of Artisan Kitchens and Baths that when you come in, you get to meet with somebody like you who will give you all of the options and then you can make your decision? Yes. Um, it's important to see everything at once and having somebody who's experienced and knows um, all different materials is a big help. It seems like when you're planning the kitchen or bathroom of your dreams, knowing what's possible and then being able to decide from there is half the battle. It is, yes. And there's so many exciting choices and colors. There are. There's always something for every kitchen or bathroom. All right, so when we start with tile, we just come in, talk to you, and then we go from there. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for showing us all the possibilities. No problem. If you're thinking about remodeling your kitchen or bath this summer or fall, I suggest you head over to Artisan Kitchen and Baths located at 200 Amherst Street in Buffalo. Their showroom is absolutely beautiful and their knowledgeable staff can help you like they help me with all of your questions. You can check out all they have to offer online at artisankitchenandbaths.com or you can give them a call at 873-4100. Design your dream kitchen at Artisan Kitchen.